Hey everybody, it's Vince, and I uh, just want to record a video tonight. Um, I haven't done one of these Christian value videos in a while. You know, I, I definitely um, uh, enjoy recording them and, you know, spreading the word of God, who is unbelievable. And you might not believe me, and you might think I'm completely nuts and insane, but I'm telling you, he loves you. And I'm telling you, if you turn to him, he'll change your life for the better um i received a terrible comment on my youtube channel which obviously i'm not going to insult this person back i'm above insulting anyone back this person insulted me and said oh you're fake and oh you're lost in life and oh it's you found religion and it's so phony and actually the truth is it's it's so real when you dedicate your life to being a morale person when you dedicate your life to God and you live each day with purpose to love God there's nothing fake about it because this isn't um, a one-day thing this isn't a two-day thing but when you really stop and you realize that God loves you and you give him your life and you submit your worries and your pain and your fears and all that stuff to him and you submit it all to him and you ask him for forgiveness i'm telling you it'll change your life it's there's nothing fake about this it's it's very real you know and if you take a few minutes tonight and you pray to god and um you hear him speak back to you it'll it'll change your whole outlook on life um god wants us to be good he does he wants us to be good people he wants us to view women as people not sex objects he wants us to control our anger in most situations as much as we can. He wants us to be okay with worry and stress and know that he loves us even in moments of worry and stress. He's there. You can talk to him. God loves us so much. You know, he, he really does. And if you submit your worries and fears to him, He'll take care of it for you. All you got to do is just be a good morale person every day. Do your best to be kind to people. And even on the days where you're not kind to people, just try to bring it back the next day and ask for forgiveness that night. Try to be kind. Try to rise above. Try to not joust insults with people when they want to insult you and tell you you're a fake. There's nothing fake about Christianity. There's nothing fake about it. And if it was fake, it would be something you would do for two days and you quit and walk away but for me you know this is this is six months in you know since i was reborn in november and i found god um this is six months in there's no, there's nothing fake about this i've watched you know most people don't understand you know um, most people aren't on board and a lot of people don't have their faith with god but once you get that squared away and you get your faith with him it'll change your life and honestly those people's opinions of you will become irrelevant because you, you'll become so much of a happier person in your life um and there's days where you feel distant from your faith but you just put it in check remember the next day to get it back square your square your mind away again and remember that he loves you so if you have a day where you're really distant and having a really bad day just come back the next day and remember where you came from and that you are loved and you're loved by God. And in the end, when you go to heaven, you don't go to heaven with money. You don't go to heaven with um, another person. You, you go to heaven with nothing. You go to heaven with your character. And so if you start young, building your character now, then when you get to heaven and you're standing there in purgatory and he says, you go up or you go down. If you live your life in a morale way, you'll go up. If you steal, you lie, you cheat, you hurt people, you're mean to people, you know, you do terrible things to people, you, you deceive people, you do these awful things, and you're probably going to go to hell. If you want to go to heaven with him, each day you have to be the most morale person that you can be. And it can be done. It's not that much of a challenge to be good and love God and have a relationship. It's not that much of a challenge. It's not any more of a challenge than it was to sin and do everything naughty you can. And that's the way I lived for a long time. I, I lived that way for years with the online hookups 
and the drinking and the smoking and the chew and the massage parlors and everything else that comes along with it that I used to do. I used to do all that stuff. I used to be the most miserable and angry SOB in the world. Foul mouth, no faith, didn't want to talk to no one, just put my head down, didn't want to say, didn't want to spread any kind of kindness to anyone, didn't want to do any of it. Now I live my life to uplift others and bring other people up, give them a little joy, give them a little something to think about in their evening when they're down. I can't give kindness to everyone because some people just don't want to receive kindness and they don't want to hear about God and they don't want to hear about Jesus. They don't want to hear all these wonderful things. They don't want to hear it. And that's okay because it's not my job. I'm, I'm not the judge of the way you live. I know the, the way I know the way I live and um, I live in a morale way each day to be the best person I can and not do anything that God frowns upon. And it's, extremely important to me to live my life in the highest morale way and uh, if you open up tonight and you say some prayers you can get there too so the guy who says christianity and i'm a fake and i'm so lost. actually he says i'm so lost in life i've never seen things more clear ever i've never seen my path for my future more defined ever and uh that's the honest truth you can believe me or not believe me or you can think oh well, this used to be the same guy who stole crazy stuff on youtube yeah that's the same guy but i also had zero faith at the time i had no relationship with god i didn't even pray things can change you know um once you take him in and uh, spend five minutes tonight spend a minute talking to him see if he's there reach your hand up in the air literally reach your hand up in the air and when you feel him touch your hand back you're gonna be like Jim was right. Vince was right. He really is there. Trust me, he's there and he's watching and he loves you. Have a good night, guys.